If your frame was printed using PLA, then before you add sensors, you will want to paint the area that holds your sensors black. Because as far as I can tell, PLA is translucent with respect to infrared light. Before you start painting though, you'll probably want to pull out a little bit of filament that drooped when it was when the frame was printed using some needle nose pliers. Then paint the whole area. Here you can see I'm using uh, black paint. It's acrylic paint that I picked up from Walmart. It's for hobby projects. Um, and I'm smearing it all around the area. My goal is to try and keep any ambient light from getting to the detector and to keep the emitter from uh, shining ambient light sideways or having it bend through the frame into the detector. I'm working really hard to try and get paint in the side part of that well as well as the bottom part. Of course, you'll want to paint the front part of the sensor holder area as well. Uh, as you can see, I'm going overboard. I'm really trying to make sure I've got plenty of paint there uh, so that there's no chance ambient lights uh, shining through the frame to get to that detector. I know it may be difficult for you to see with uh, black paint on a black frame, uh, but I did do my best to try and get the lighting adequate so that you'd be able to tell the areas that I'm painting. And uh, here, I'll go ahead and twist it just a little bit so maybe we can catch the light just right and you can really see what you're supposed to do. As an added precaution, I also paint the sides and the base of the emitters and detectors. If you give your frame and your sensor and emitter a second coat, you should end up with a mouse that performs every bit as well as one that uses a frame printed with ABS.